Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today I am really excited because I have another 30 and 30 for you. This is all lip products so it's no cat specific category of lipsticks. So it could be lip glosses, it could be bullet lipsticks. There's a lot of bullet lipsticks and there could be liquid lipsticks. Um, so it's just kind of a variety. I went through and I tried to grab different um, formulas and different brands so there won't be any repeats in that um, in that way we're going to start with the first one which is a newer release this is from mac this is part of the lunar new york collection this is lucky in love this is part of, this is the this is one of their matte formulas this is a beautiful color i really love it that is what it looks like swatched um, this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I really love the um, MAC matte lipsticks. So um, that was the first one. Really enjoyed that one. Similar in packaging, this is from Mellow Cosmetics. This is in the shade Nude and it is a matte lipstick as well. It is not quite as creamy as the MAC but it was a really good formula and um, it felt good on my lips. It didn't feel drying or anything like that. So this was one that I was actually pretty impressed with. And I know I have another um, one from that formula as well. Next up is Carl Lagerfeld for Model Co. This was in my glossy box. I got the Carl Lagerfeld glossy box and I wore this on the day he passed away as a tribute to him. Um, it's not really what I normally wear. It's not quite a color I normally gravitate to, towards. It's a little more brown and it also, um, it's a gloss. So I don't wear a lot of glosses. It was a little sticky, um, but it actually was pretty nice. I mean, I probably would not buy anything from Model Co just to have it um, and to wear it on a regular basis, but I really am glad that I have that one. Next is from Nude Sticks. This is in the shade um, Kiss. And the last one, I don't know what the shade name is because it doesn't say. And this is their Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil. I have never used these on my cheeks. Um, let me know if you have and what you think of them on your cheeks. But that is what the color is. And I didn't think I liked Nude Sticks originally. And I started trying out some of them recently. And I really do like them. Like it's a great formula. It works really nice. Um, I really like the color on this one. Um, so Kiss is one that I definitely would recommend. The next one is one that is going to be decluttered. It's just not really my favorite color or my favorite formula. It is the Katie Cat Matte Formula. This is in the shade Katori. Um, they're all play plays on the cat. And it just, it takes one a little bit to build it up. But if you see, like, it's supposed to be a matte, but it looks more creamy than, like, these two. These are true mattes over here, but that one really isn't. So it's not really a shade I like. It's not really um, a formula I like. So that one is going in, that's the first one in my declutter. Another one that is going in my declutter, this is an older formula. I've had this for, for a while. This is Watermelon by CoverGirl. And it's a pretty enough color. It's not really one that I gravitate towards. And I found it was really messy to apply and to keep on. So um, it's just, it's not my favorite. So this one is not going to be passed on. It's just probably um, going in the trash, unfortunately, which makes me sad. I don't like throwing out stuff. I like passing them on if I can. But I did not catch that one in time. Next up is an older Kat Von D. This is in the shade FTW. Oh my gosh, this was a great formula. I kind of like um, metallic slash shimmery. And this one definitely fits that bill. It's a really pretty color. It's a little darker than what I normally wear, but it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed that one. So that one was, that one was another good one. I found quite a few good ones in here to tell you the truth. Next is one of my most expensive lipsticks. This is Giorgio Armani and it's in the shade 102, which is just, it's a nude shade. It's not um, anything really all that special, but it is really pretty. I did get this one as um, for review from Influencer. I talked about that in my 30 for 30 perfumes as well. 
So Influencer, they sent me two of these to try and I then you just post reviews on, I think it was Giorgio Armani's website, Nordstrom and Sephora, and they give you the lipsticks. So these are like $36 lipsticks, somewhere around there, $36, $37 lipsticks, really expensive. But that's what it looks like. I really love this formula. Um, if one, I didn't have so many lipsticks, two, if it wasn't so expensive, um, I would definitely pick up some more from this collection. This one I really like. The red I don't wear quite as much because I just don't wear a lot of reds. But yeah, I really like that. Um, it's a great formula. Really pretty good color as well. Next is from the ColourPop collection. This is one of their, um, I think these are creams. Um, and this was their Disney collaboration. This is the shade Belle. Belle is my favorite princess. Um, I got to meet Paige O'Hara who played Belle or voiced Belle last year and it was one of the greatest experiences. Um, and that's what it looks like. It is actually pretty similar um, to the Katori now that I'm looking at them. But it's just a little bit more vibrant and a little bit um, less brown is what I would say. This is not my favorite. Um, I feel like it's the most wearable of that collection, but I probably, from what I've seen, I probably wouldn't buy any more ColourPop lipsticks. Um, I mean, these are nice enough, but unless they're a Disney collaboration, which um, I know the villains is just come out. So yeah, I might, I might have to pick up some of the villains just because they're, they're fun. Next up is Tarte, and these are, I can't remember what these are called. These are the Drench Lip Splash, and this is the shade Cabana Boy. I really like this formula. Um, I really like Tarte lipsticks. This one, I will say, it's hard, like you really do need to go in and swatch them and find a shade that's right for you, but they have such a wide, wide variety that I think you probably can. But that's what it looks like right there. So I really like this formula. It's really comfortable and it just, it lasts pretty well. It doesn't last as long as like my MAC or my Mellow Cosmetics that were more of a um, matte formula, but it is really hydrating. So I really like that. So those are the first 10. I'm gonna take off these swatches and I'll be right back. All right, next up is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. I think I might've talked about this in my liquid lipstick um, 30 and 30, which was recently, but it is Dose of Colors. This is the shade Los Angeles, or Los Angeles. Um, so it's kind of a play on the words. This is a really unusual shade. It's not like anything I have. Um, it's more of a brick red, but it's a more subtle red. It's not really in your face, which is why I really do like it. So I can't remember why, but I was really feeling like I needed that shade to wear that day. Don't ask me. Next up is Estee Lauder. This is their dynamic or their pure color MD formula. This is in the shade dynamic. You're going to see a lot of nudes in here because I wear a lot of nudes when I'm at work. Um, this is a pretty good formula. If it lasts fairly well, I probably would not purchase this um, on a regular basis. Like if I was looking for a formula, this isn't what is not what I would gravitate for towards, but I do like them. Um, they get, come in a lot of collections, like when you buy the holiday collections and that's where I've got most of them. Next is Finding Ferdinand. This is Knob Hill Red. This is kind of a fun um, tube because it pops open and then you pull it out. Um, and this is a really red formula, but it, it looks red, but it looks much lighter on um, on the lips or on the skin. This is not my favorite formula. I am going to keep it because it wasn't quite as an intense of a red as I um, originally thought it was. It was hard to apply. It's a little bit stiffer of a formula, um, but it lasted fairly well and I did like the color because it was a little bit different. Next is Real Her, Sorry Not Sorry. And I don't know why I just said her that way. I think it's from Girl Meets World. Has anybody watched that where he goes, where Sabrina goes, her, her? Um, sorry, if you have, you have no idea if you haven't watched the show. Um, this was, I was kind of prepared to let this one go, but I think I am gonna keep it. It's a really pretty peachy color. Um, the formula 
is okay. There's nothing special about it, but it seemed it was a little bit more of an interesting shade than some of the other ones in my collection. Bobbi Brown is next, and this is a little mini one, and this is the shade Babe. I love Bobbi Brown's packaging. I think it's just really pretty, and I like that it matches, so you can actually kind of get an idea of what is in the package. It's a little bit more of a sheer formula. I really like this one. I think it's a really pretty color. It's different than a lot of the other things that I have, so I was happy to use that and to have something a little bit different. One of my favorite formulas, one of my favorite lipsticks is from Besame. This is from the Snow White collection. Let's see, it's really shiny and reflective. Um, this is Make-A-Wish. It's a different color. I really like it. I feel like I can wear this um, as a neutral. It's probably not the best one for an everyday, but that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty peachy color. I don't think this is still available, but I really do recommend the Besame formula. Look at the colors, see what they are, what you like. They last really well. They are a more drying formula, so do keep that in mind because they are a matte, so it's going to be like the matte, the MAC matte formula. They're a little bit more drying, um, but they last better, so that's, that's kind of a give and take with those. Next is from Bite Beauty. This is the shade Meringue. I got this in um, some box in December. These smell so good. That is the biggest thing I think about um, Bite Beauty. I'm going to keep this one for now, but this might get decluttered in a little bit. It's kind of, it's a really just a neutral color. Not Nothing really ultra special about it, um, but the formula feels nice. It does have food grade um, ingredients, which is good because you know you're eating your lipstick no matter what. But Bite just, they are not my favorite formula. I don't know why. Like I know most people really love them. I just, there's something that it just, it doesn't quite click with me. Um, I'm not sure why. Next up is Too Faced. This is the Peach Collection, um, Peaches and Cream Collection. It's going all wonky because it's too white. This is Peach Beach, which is probably my favorite shade in the range. It's the most vibrant, that is for sure. It smells so good. It smells like, it's like a peachy cream scent. I love the scent. Um, and that's what it looks like. I did get that one half off. They had them on the Weekly Wow from Sephora, which made me super happy. So I picked up several of them but this is by far my favorite of all of them. So really recommend that one. This might be my favorite lipstick right now. This is Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Bond Girl. This is was from the Sephora. They had a lip favorites collection over the holidays. And this is kind of like the centerpiece of the kit um, because it, it is like a $34 lipstick. It doesn't apply quite as dark as it looks in the tube. You can build it up, but it can be also sheared out. So I was a little intimidated. I thought it might be a little too dark, but it really, it looks awesome on the lips. It wears well. It has a, just a good formula all around. I really love it. I would love to get more from Charlotte Tilbury, but they are expensive and I need to find them in kits again because yeah, they're really expensive. All right, next one is from Ulta. Probably should turn it that way. This is the shade Mischievous. Um, I think I got this as a free gift. I know I didn't buy it. It was part of a set anyway. It's kind of similar to some of the other shades I've been using, swatching lately. Um, it's a pretty color and it's a nice enough formula. I probably would not purchase more of them, but I do think it is a good enough formula that I do want to continue with it. All right, so those are the second 10 swatches and then I'll be right back with our final 10. All right, next up is one of the Lancome limited editions for the holiday. This is in the shade Rose and they also have a similar packaging to um, Finding Ferdinand where you push it and then you pull it out. This is such a gorgeous, vibrant color. I did get this one because I had the nude formula, the nude shade, and then I was like, I really want this one. 
So that is what it looks like. It's a really nice formula. I like it, but definitely the packaging is a major factor in this. Do I think the Lancome lipsticks are worth the thirty some dollars? No, because I think there are better. Like I would rather have a Charlotte Tilbury um, one instead of the Lancome one. Next up is from Rimmel. This or Rimmel. This is the Kate um, Moss collection. I always want to call it Kate Winslet. Um, I don't know or Kate Spade. I don't. Too many Kates. This is shade seventeen. It doesn't have a specific name and that's what it looks like it's really sheer it's um, kind of buildable but it's a nice enough formula I am going to keep it but I probably wouldn't buy others in that formula but I, I think it's nice enough next up is from Too Faced this is a lip gloss in the shade home slice it's part of their Tutti Frutti collection from Ulta it smells amazing Oh my gosh, I love the scent of it. I really like the color as well. Um, here it is swatched. The problem that I have with this is one, it's a lip gloss, so it wears off like crazy. Um, so you eat something and it's gone, which is really annoying because I don't like reapplying throughout the day most of the time. And the other problem with it is when I wore it, I had, every time I reapplied it, somebody was like, you have stuff on your teeth. You have lipstick on your teeth. So it transferred to my teeth all the time. And maybe I should have done the little like finger and pull to try to get off excess. But oh, sometimes when you have like just 30 seconds to reapply before you have to get out to work, you don't always have time for that. So, but I can smell it like it's just right here and it smells so good. Next up is from Buxom. This is their Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Wondrous. Um, I, this is like my first liquid lipstick and I think it's kind of, it's time to say goodbye to it. It does need to be tossed. Um, I'm not crazy about the color for one. It was, it's a little too bright. Um, just it doesn't quite suit me. Plus, the formula seems to be doing something funky, so I think it's time to say goodbye to it. I don't remember it being a great formula. It doesn't really have the lasting power or the dry down of other liquid lipsticks, so I wouldn't recommend those. Next up is the Sephora Stories. This lip stories, this is Spring Break, so it's really cute. Um, and it is one of the cream formula. I think that's the only one I've tried. I have this one and I have We. Um, I think it's called We. Um, that's the only two that I have. And I think they're both cream. This is a pretty color. It's a little darker, neutral. Um, and I like the formula. I think they're good. Um, I obviously have a couple of them. My big problem with them is there's not a lot that I feel like I would wear on a regular basis plus they're never in stock in store or online like you go in store and they don't have something to swatch and I really want to swatch a lot of lipsticks before I get them I don't like doing blind buys with my makeup for the most part so it was a little disappointing with that this little guy is from Tom Ford now the reason I don't own a full-size Tom Ford is their lipsticks are like $52 I want to say they're 50 something dollars, which is ridiculous for a lipstick. This is the shade Indian Rose. It is really pretty. It is a nice, just like your, the plainest nude, peach, pinky, peachy nude that you can imagine. That is what this is. It's a great formula. It does not last. So I reapplied several times and every time I did, I was like, no, I don't want to I'm reapplying and it's money. It was a point perk that I got, but I think it's a nice formula, but I would never buy a full size because they're just too expensive. Next up is from Wander Beauty. This is in the shade Barely There. I really like this formula. It's a little bit, it's not as smooth as the Tom Ford, but it does have a little bit more lasting power. I did change the, like, have to reapply several times throughout the day, but it is a really pretty color. Um, and I like the Wander Beauty products that I've tried so far. 
next is from Pat McGrath. This is one of the matte lip trances in Elson. This is like the red shade that she has. It's a dark blue, um, blue red shade. There we go. That is what it looks like. It lasts really well. Um, I ate a grilled cheese sandwich and it still had um, lipstick around it. I put some lip balm on and I still had red everywhere. The thing with this one is if you eat a grilled cheese sandwich, a little bit's going to go out on the cheese and then it's going to look like blood. It looked like I had blood on my sandwich a couple times and I was like, oh, it's probably my lipstick. That is what it is because it got on the cheese, which is just, it was kind of funny, but these are really pretty. I wish I had some of her nudes, but I felt like the nude set that she had was more um, brownie nudes and I wanted something more pinky nudes because that's what I wear. So, yeah. Next is from Guerlain. This is the La Petite Robe Noir. This is the shade 61. It doesn't have like a shade written on it. This is a gorgeous lipstick. It's really sheer. It builds up. It's moisturizing. I don't know how much these are in real life. I love the packaging too. I think they're so cute with the little extra on it. I did get this as part of a gift set with um, a perfume, so that's why I have it. I really like this though. I'm really, I need to actually use it. I have been saving it because I was like, it's Guerlain, it's expensive. But I really, I found that I really liked it. Finally, our 30th lipstick is from YSL. This is the shade 52. And I know there's a name for it, but I don't know what it was because that's all it has on it. It is, I think it was from one of the holiday ones. It's a very um, orangey lipstick. This is not my favorite color. Um, it was a little odd on. It's more vibrant in person than it is on screen. It looks a little bit more muted here. Um, the formula actually lasted fairly well. My lips were a little um, rough that day though and it showed all of the texture and all the unevenness on my lips which I didn't like but it stuck there and so it, it has good lasting power. I I don't like this color. I felt kind of self-conscious all day wearing this color but I'm not going to declutter it because it is YSL. I did get this on sale. That's the reason I bought it. It was on sale at Sephora. It was the one shade that they had in store so that's that's really the reason I bought it I would have liked one of the other colors but I wanted something YSL that was really pretty so I think this is going to go in my historical part of my collection I've decided that's what I'm going to call it my historical collection and just kind of keep things that are expensive or things that I'm keeping for a specific reason like my Gwen Stefani um, Urban Decay collection my Alice in Wonderland collection Bessame, things that I don't wear on a regular basis, put them aside. Some of them are not to be touched. Some of them, like this one, can be touched, but they're just not going to go in my regular drawers of things because I think that will be easier. I can display them. I can put them out so that I still get enjoyment from them, but not necessarily from use. That is my 30th one. So there are the last 10 swatches right there. Let me know if you have tried any of these formulas, what your thoughts are on them. Are some of these ones that you love? Are some of them the ones that you hate? What do you think of the three that I decluttered? That's only 10%, that's not, not great, um, but it's a start. I did better on my last liquid lipstick, but we're just kind of cycling through and seeing what's going on with each piece of my collection. Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time, bye.